Yeah, sorry about that. I hit the hit the wrong button. And I posted it. Yeah, I accidentally posted that video. Putting my propping my phone up against my bathroom gear. Hi Autumn. Oh, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm restless. Not because of mine busy. Just I don't know. Probably all those goddamn Shannon, hey! How are you? You still doing that job? Are you still doing it? The Costco bread thing? I imagine you would. I've been doing it forever. Oh, my nose. Oh. All this fresh air, I guess, I don't know. How am I? <laughs> I'm good considering. I guess you heard about the accident. Did you hear about the accident, Shannon? Seventeen you've been doing that seventeen years? Yeah, well I guess so, shit. Yeah, you've been doing it uh, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick update there, Shannon. I'm just in the, uh, I'm in more out of the hospital now. I got out, uh, I got out Monday. So I'm just waiting for my legs to heal up. It's nice to hear from you. Friendly, uh, friendly face. Yeah, Kelly told you, yeah. Uh, Yeah, uh, Kelly is a good shit, eh? Yeah, he's a good friend. Yeah, well, I ran. I was, I was on my way back to Ottawa, and I had enough money to get me back and everything. And then I heard about a job in Northern Ontario, so I was there earlier in the first trip, so. I took the chance and went back to Northern Ontario to see about a, a mine that was hiring. And it turned out to be uh, not the information I was given. So I ran out of money and I was stuck in, uh, outside of Winnipeg and Kelly, uh, Kelly was uh, kind enough to lend me some money to get back to Ottawa. So it was back from, coming back from Ottawa when I got in the accident. Yeah, there's certain people I miss too, you know. Well, 20 years is a long time. You form a lot of relationships, you know. Not best friends and all, but people you look forward to seeing every day. Okay, I'm just going to get out of this washroom here. Give me a sec. Oh. Just give me a second there, folks. supposed to be smoking in here, but whatever, fuck it. I'm going to grab one of my Jolly Ranchers there. Plug this phone back in. Red's my favorite. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, you were following my post? Cool, thank you. Quite the adventure, eh? Documenting, documenting my epic failure out west. <laughs> Although I did learn a thing or two. So we're trying to take the positive out of it, right? This phone is so going to fall again. But I had a lot of things going against me too, though, right? A lot of things I figured would work out, didn't at all. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing. We're picking up, moving on. Yeah, that was say like I was saying earlier. For some strange reason, I'm not really that upset about the whole thing. I don't know, weird, eh? Probably because I didn't die. <laughs> we got a second chance at things. I certainly try to be, you know? Of course, I'm sure there's a few people out there that think I'm still a fucking massive prick. Only because it didn't take 20 years to get to know me better. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm glad I didn't die too, because I like life, you know. My uh, drama filled life. But I've had a lot of good times, you know. Definitely more than bad. I look forward to having a hell of a lot of more good times. But thanks for saying so. It's nice to hear. It's not every day everyone, anyone uh, calls me a good man, you know, so. I'll take the compliment. Why well, wouldn't it be nice to you? You've always been pretty straight with me. You know? Oh, I got another hour before my sister comes, I think. Of course, I unplugged the clock, unplugged, unplugged the clock for my charger in, so I have no idea what time it is. Whoa. I feel like I'm back in the truck and my phone keeps falling off the mirror. <laughs> How many times does that happen? Yeah, I lost all four of my phones on that accident. I had a 5S, a 5. I had my l and and my prepaid. 309, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, I should be here in an hour. We'll go get something to eat and hang out. And yeah, she's, uh, she really um, stepped up for me, boy. She handled a lot of shit for me while I was in the hospital. Already I got a folder file full of paperwork, just everything and stuff, you know. builds up fast and you gotta keep everything in, on track for the insurance company because the insurance company's gonna pay for my hotel and new clothes and hopefully replace my phones. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. That's what family is for, but me and my family kind of had a disconnect there for the for a few years and 
I mainly mainly stemmed from an, from an understand from a misunderstanding. They viewed me, you know, as a addict or junkie or that type of personal lifestyle, but which I was pretty offended by. But you know, I kind of chipped my shoulder with the family about that. That was another one, another one of the reasons why I started doing the videos, you know, because I told my family about them. I says, "You really want to understand me? Start watching the videos, you know." But everything worked out, you know. They understand then, understand now what I was going through and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I did my time of abusing drugs for sure, but. For a time there, you know, I was pretty adamant about using it for medicinal purposes, but we all know that story. We won't get into that and rehash all that bullshit. Because no one believes you anyway, so it's point of talking about it. Yeah, well, now it's nice to know that. I can count on my family, right? And it's a good feeling to have. You know? Because I always believed that there shouldn't be a difference between your spouse, your friends, and your family. If there's something that you can do to help, you do it. There shouldn't be any boundaries. But my crazy fucking lunatic friend out west there she showed me that uh, there are boundaries in which I had a real issue with I didn't think that that's the way the world worked cause I was in my little fucking Costco bubble with no identity no identity of my own thinking the world's a certain way and it turned out it is not what I figured it was so But me and the fam are fucking super tight and talk every day and I can run my ideas by them before I implement stuff and get an honest opinion, you know? Like for example, like um, my sister feels that I should um, get an apartment here first, you know, right away, before I look for a job or or get a vehicle. But I told her, I should, it makes sense to get a vehicle first. That way, you can get an apartment close to wherever your job is, so you're not commuting, right? At least that's my thought process. So she didn't agree with me, but I told her, well, I'll give you a day to marinate on that. And, and we're gonna go looking for cars, vehicles, trucks, whatever. I'd like to get an SUV again or a truck. So we're gonna do spend the day tomorrow doing that. Hopefully we can find something here. I don't, I don't really feel like going to Toronto, but part of me thinks going to Toronto first would probably be the best idea because it'd be more of options, right? Because I like to get a an old Escalade or a Tahoe. You know, SUV. I'm not going to buy the Durango again. Or a, or a pickup truck, you know, a Ford or a Ram or something. I'm hoping to uh, spend like, you know, 12, 13 grand, 20,000 taxes in, 300 a month for 84 months type deal. That's what I'm hoping I'll be able to get, but I don't know. We'll see when we, we get at it, you know. But I gotta have a vehicle. I can't be, you know, like, you know, because I gotta search for work and then I wanna get a place near work so the commute doesn't kill me. Because obviously I'm buying something that's not practical and economical as far as gas goes, right? SUVs and trucks take a lot of gas, so I wanna make sure that I got uh, my apartment is close to work, right? So I'm not spending a fortune that way.
It's different if I'm taking road trips. I like to, <laughs> there's always the bus. I actually asked someone here about this. How's their transit system here in Barrie? <laughs> Put it to you this way, they're trying to catch up to the size of the city. It's just growing so fast, right? I came here 20 years ago to visit my sister and it was about 40,000 people. <laughs> there's 145,000 now, so. Barry's uh, growing pretty damn quickly. Yeah, pretty quickly. Still nice though. Uh, it feels like Ottawa. So I'm gonna give it a chance. You know. As much as I like Ottawa, I still had some negative vibes with Ottawa, you know my lifestyle at the time and just figuring shit out and partying my ass off and being vicariously sexual <laughs> oh shit so hopefully if I move back to Ottawa we won't be in that place again you know and just concentrate on work and saving and all that responsible shit that the uh, normal people do. <laughs> uh, I'd say I got, a, I got a long way to go to be normal, but we did learn a lot in the last few months. We did learn a lot, you know. Mostly what my limitations are. And uh, when you're in mania and you're bipolar, you, there is no limitations. You can do anything. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Uh, well, we have talked enough. I don't know. There's only, what, three people on here? My record is ten. Ten people watched my video one time. I felt so validated. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, let me read this what Shannon said here. Yeah. Shannon, thank you very much, lovely. My lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Yeah, thank you very much. It was great to hear from you. It was great to hear from you. So you take care of yourself. You take good care of yourself. Ugh. Well, God, I take my hat off. I look at this short hair and I'm just like, I hate it. I hate it. Miss the long locks. Oh, maybe I should try to take a nap before my sister comes over. Because you guys don't seem too talkative today. It's a new look. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like it. I want my long hair back. I want my long hair back. Oh, well, give me six months. Yeah, hospital man is fading away, everything there. But, Brent, I appreciate you uh, reaching out and, and that, you know. Uh, they had this um, short and cool. Yeah, you like the short hair? Yeah, my sister liked the short hair too. Yeah. Um, no, you guys like the short hair? You're killing me. Ah, oh, I'm not keeping it short. Yeah, I guess, I guess there's a certain, I guess it's, it's just a shock for me, you know. I'm so used to playing with the, at the back, you know. Yeah, a lot of hospital stuff is starting to fade away now. You know, I'm fading from my memory. They had, um, 
um, in in on Thunder Bay, there was no computer. But when I went to Barry, they had this computer screen that kind of swung down. And, but the internet friggin' sucked. But I was able able to. I got the hiccups. I was able to check out a lot of comments and best wishes, and you know, I heard, I read all those, you know, which um, which I thank you for, you know. A little bit of moral support helps everybody, right? I guess that's one of the main reasons most people aren't face on Facebook. You know, they want some validation and some attention maybe they're not getting, you know, that they wouldn't, wouldn't get without Facebook, you know, so I think it's a good tool for that, you know. For me, I'm just telling a story here, but it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the comments and everything, right? You're only human, right? So if someone tells you you're a sexy fucking beast, Hey, man, I'll take that compliment any day. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, maybe I should go take a try to lie down for a little bit before my sister gets here. And uh, we go have coffee. Extra large, four and four. Yeah, I don't care if you guys, some guy made a comment on it. He says you're drinking fucking ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, I like a lot of cream in my coffee, man. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Anyways, I'm going to scoot. Thanks for joining me. Until I see you again. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Crown bless you all.